Hello and welcome to Pilates week two. This follows on from the video Pilates week one. You'll be starting in the rest position that was described in the last video. And the first exercise is going to be a hip twist. The starting position, place your arms out to the sides just below shoulder height, palms facing upwards. Connect your legs together and hold a small block between your knees or a towel if that's all you have. So inhale to prepare, exhale and roll both knees to the right and continue to roll your pelvis, waist and then your lower back towards the right. Finally, roll your head and neck towards the opposite shoulder, keeping your neck long. Inhale and hold. Exhale, roll your head and neck back to the midline. You're going to repeat this on alternating sides and doing 10 reps. tips for this one is imagine your shoulder blades as anchors to prevent them lifting away from the mat. As the legs and body roll to the side, imagine the rib cage sliding downwards to meet the hips to avoid flaring the rib cage. Imagine the spine as a corkscrew, rotating the tailbone upwards to the mid back. When you've completed 10 reps, you'll rest for 20 seconds. And repeat again.
The next exercise is a double leg stretch. You're gonna begin in the rest position with the center engaged. So to start, you're gonna exhale and float your arms upwards, placing your hands over your shoulders, palms facing away from you and the elbows soft. You're going to inhale and hold this position. Then exhale, lower both arms overhead, keeping your rib cage soft. And then inhale and circle both arms outwards, then downwards to finish with your hands over your shoulders. You're going to repeat this 10 times. And again, do for two sets. Once you've completed 10 reps, you're going to rest for 20 seconds before we start on the next. And when you're ready, we're starting again. The next exercise is hundreds. So for this, you're going to inhale to prepare. You're going to exhale, float your right knee over your right hip to assume the tabletop leg position. Hold this tabletop position and focus on five breath cycles. On the fifth breath out, you will lower your leg to resume the rest position. You will then repeat this on your opposite leg. We're going to do this for 10 reps. And we'll do that for two sets.
on your last one. You will rest for 20 seconds before starting again for the next set. Okay, and then when you're ready, you'll start the next set. When you finish the, the last set, we'll move on to the next exercise, which is a shoulder bridge. So again, you're going to be starting in the rest position with the center engaged. To do this, you're going to inhale to prepare and then exhale, gently roll your lower back into the mat, scoop your tailbone upwards and continue to peel your spine off the mat bone by bone until you are resting on your shoulder blades. Inhale and hold the shoulder bridge position. Exhale, lower the shoulder bridge by lowering one bone at a time to the mat. Beginning with the highest vertebrae of your bridge and finishing with your tailbone to return to neutral position. You're gonna repeat this for 10 reps and again will be for two sets. Tips for this is imagine the spine is a string of pearls and you are lifting this string of pearls off the mat, pearl by pearl. Your hips should always be higher than your rib cage in the bridge position. Keep your collarbones wide and the back of your neck long throughout. Imagine a harness suspending from the ceiling, lifting and supporting the pelvis in the bridge.
and when you've finished, you're going to rest for 20 seconds before starting the next set. If you feel you need longer, please pause the video. If you're ready for your next set, you can start now. The next exercise is arm openings. So for this exercise, you'll need to be laid on your side. The towel that you used previously, if you, you can add to that just to give a little bit more height. So in the side of the line position, you're gonna have your head, have that head supported, whether it's on a towel or a small pillow. Arms reaching in front of the body and resting one on top of the other. The hips are bent at approximately 45 degrees and the knees are bent at approximately 90 degrees. Shoulders and hips stacked up one on top of the other. Draw the top hip downwards away from the top shoulder to create a small space between your waist and the mat. So to start, you're going to inhale to prepare, then exhale and reach the uppermost arm towards the ceiling. Continue to reach the uppermost arm out to the side, allowing the upper body to rotate and the front of the chest to open to the ceiling. Allow the head to follow the movement of the arm. Inhale and hold the stretch. Exhale and rotate the body and arm back to the starting position. Again, you will do this for 10 reps. If you're finding that going all the way with the arm is too much, then just go to a certain position that you feel comfortable with. So a few tips for this position. Imagine holding a piece of chalk in your top hand and drawing a large rainbow over the body for level one. If you want to make this a bit harder, you can imagine holding a piece of chalk in the top hand and drawing a large circle above the body for level two. Think of your shoulder blade drawing downwards as the top arm lifts 
like the counterweight on a railway gate. When you've finished with those 10, you'll rest for 20 seconds and swap to the opposite side. Assume the position again, like you did the other side. And then you'll start on the next set. Again, inhale to prepare, exhale, reaching over, and then inhale, hold that stretch, and exhale, rotate the body back. I'm going to repeat 10 reps on this side, and then go back and repeat on both sides again. Once you've completed it, 10 on that side, you'll swap again to the opposite side. And you'll repeat this position for 10 reps. When you've finished with those 10, you'll rest for 20 seconds and swap to the opposite side. Assume the position again, like you did the other side. And then you'll start on the next set.
And when you've finished those, you're going to return onto the opposite side that you began with. You're going to slightly adjust your arm so your underneath arm is going to be outstretched in alignment with your trunk. You can use um, a single or double pillow, whichever you feel uh, most comfortable with, or a small pillow to do it. And you're going to have your hips slightly bent, not as much as it was on the other one, with your knees bent to 90 degrees still. Shoulders and hips are stacked, with the top hand resting on the floor. Draw the top hip downwards, away from the top shoulder, to create a small space between your waist and the mat. To start this, you're going to inhale to prepare, and then exhale and lift your top leg to hip height, so ever so slightly off. Then glide this leg forward from your hip, keeping the knee bent and the leg lifted at hip height. Inhale. Glide this leg back above your underneath leg, keeping the knee bent and the leg lifted at hip height. Repeat, keeping your top leg lifted to hip height. You're going to repeat this for 10 reps and two sets. Once you've completed 10 reps, you'll do the same on the opposite side. Your arm outstretched ahead and start when you're ready. If you feel like you need longer, then please pause the video and start when you're ready. Once you've completed that, again you can rest for 20 seconds and you're going to repeat again on the opposite side.
Once you've finished, two sets on both sides. You can then return to the rest position for the final exercise. So the start position is that rest position. This is called imprinting. You're gonna make sure that center's engaged. For this, you're going to inhale to prepare, and then exhale, thinking of sliding your rib cage downwards towards your waist to flatten your spine slightly. You will feel a deeper connection with the abdominal muscles. You'll then inhale and hold this imprinted position. Exhale and return to the neutral position. You're going to repeat this for 10 reps, doing it for two sets. Tips for this one, do not press your lower back into the mat. The movement is more subtle than this. It is important to contract your abdominals slightly more than when compared to centering. As your abdominals become more efficient, your lower back will remain in neutral alignment during imprinting. Once you've completed 10 reps, you will rest for 20 seconds. And when you're ready, you'll start again for the final set. So inhale, exhale, thinking of sliding your ribcage downwards towards your waist, flattening that spine ever so slightly to feel a deeper connection to the abdominal muscles. Inhale and hold, and exhale and return to the neutral position. Once you completed 10, well done. That's the end of the Pilates class today. The next will be Pilates week three which we'll move on to next week.